Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript 30 days of lead code challenge. Now today we are with a problem 2695 array wrapper. Let's see the question and understand more. Create a class array wrapper that accepts an array of integers in its constructor. So we need to write a basic class or we can write it in a function because classes are considered as a function here in JavaScript. So the, we need to write a class that accepts an array of integers in its constructor. So let's take it. See here it is taking an uh, array of in, uh, integers as a function, uh, as a parameter. Now here I'm taking it something called nums. And when two instances of this class are added together with the plus operator. For example, I am giving it something like 1 comma 2 and comma 3 comma 4 then immediately when you are when you are saying it like add then 1 plus 2 3 and then 3 plus 4 7 and then 3 plus 7 which will be uh, 10 so it's like they are adding everything of the array instances whenever you are saying add in the same way whenever you are saying it string they are making it like 1 2 3 4 as a single array so that is what they are saying it like we created a class and we just uh, used a prototype to just extend it this is a basic code which the lead code gives you they extend the prototype if you want to know more details about the prototype you can check it on another video which we have uh, regarding the array prototypes now you can go down uh, for the value of and the string so we need to define how it works first let's take it this dot arr equals to nums so whatever they are giving in the inputs i am storing it in the name of arr so for this class name arr is our array which will contain let's take it this is our arr now so this array may contain multiple arrays like 1 comma 2 1 array 3 comma 4 1 array another one we don't know imagine 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 4 are there and they call this add they call this add uh, it is like the value of now if they are trying this the most important thing which we need to do is we need to add them all how do you add all the elements in an array the best one is to use reduce method if you check it on reduce method reduce method will take in a callback function and an initial value and the callback function will take it an accumulator with a current value let me give you a simple example imagine there is an array let arr equals to 1 2 3 4 and if i write something like arr dot reduce arr dot reduce and if i take it like current va previous value comma current value which will be adding previous plus current comma zero so basically what is this line it means it will take it the previous value the initial previous value will be zero so that is what second argument basically means the default initial value now current value is the value inside the array so one and i am returning previous plus current which is zero plus one so what can be zero plus one one then again previous will become one the next time one and the current value is two one plus two which is three so three will be previous then then 3 plus 3 which is 6 will be previous and then 6 plus 4 which will be 10 will be previous so ultimately the previous value will be returned the same thing i am applying it here to our array which is arr return this dot arr dot reduce reduce and here we are using previous current you can put whatever the names you like it the names doesn't matter but basically the first argument represents the uh, accumulated value which is like the i am saying it as a previous basically it's an accumulated value which will be adding every time and comma comma zero which is the initial point so this one will result exactly like if, if an array contains 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 4 they will add this 1 comma 2 which is 1 plus 2 they will add 3 comma 4 which is 3 plus 4 and again they will add it like this 3 and this 7 which will make it like 10 go down if i take array wrapper with a prototype of two string now we need to add the strings how do you make it as a string so the string is nothing but we have one function called join so i am returning it this dot arr dot 
join and I am using a join based on comma but will it exactly return what we asked for joining one no instead to make it return we need to get the exact value for that I am using something called template literal sir so we are just using this we are just writing it as an array inside the array I want the exact value inside the array I want the exact value of this dot arr dot join if you don't do this dollar braces you won't get the values what is this dollar braces are like they represent the value they are template literals for example something a is equals to 5 is there and you write it as uh, something a it's like if you write console dot log a uh, it, it will be in quotation imagine you are writing console dot log quotation a it will print a only but in quotation console dot log quotation you print it like dollar braces a it will print a value it's like even though it is considered as a string but still even though considered as a string but still inside that it will implement the value instead of this if i don't give this you know what will happen it will take it like normal string and that's not uh, good so uh, that, that is the basic one let's check it on how it works we got it here template literal go here so I just forgot to close this one which will be this so when you open a string you should close the string which got accepted in 53 milliseconds which you can check it on and in case if you get it more doubt in any lead code problems you can check it our previous list the playlist and all and you can come back to us thank you all